A man is in custody tonight, suspected of killing four people yesterday in the small community of Laurel, Nebraska. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diana Castillo and the latest from Laurel is first at five o'clock. Siouxland News has been following the developments from Laurel since early this morning when police were seen entering a home near one of the crime scenes. Sula News anchor Katie Koppel is back in Laurel tonight. And Katie, what can you tell us about the investigation and the man police have in custody? Well, Diana, not even 24 hours after that first 911 call was made here in Laurel, Nebraska State Patrol have a man in custody. In a news conference Friday morning, Nebraska State Patrol says 42-year-old Jason Jones has been arrested on charges of first-degree arson, first-degree homicide, and use of a firearm to commit a felony. Police entered Jones's residence at 206 Elm, across the street from the first crime scene just after 2.30 Friday morning, after evidence found at both crime scenes pointed to Jones as the probable suspect. The NSP SWAT team arrived and performed an entry and search into the residence where he was located at 206 Elm Street. When he was arrested, it was discovered that he had serious burns over a large uh, part of his body. Jones is currently in custody at a Lincoln hospital where he was airlifted to be treated for serious burns. He has not been officially charged. We're still working to process the evidence that we collected at this scene. It's still very early in this investigation. According to court documents obtained by Siouxland News, first responders found a woman inside the back door of the first home at 209 Elm suffering from gunshot wounds. She died at the scene. Also found at the scene were burn marks inside the home consistent with a fire, a red gas can, and a trail on the floor indicating use of an accelerant. A black backpack was also found inside that home with several gas station receipts for gas and gas cans linked to a credit card for Jones. Court documents also state a pry bar was used to gain entry to the second home at 503 Elm, where three people were found dead, each with gunshot wounds. A firearm magazine was located inside the back door and a pistol was found on the living room floor. That gun is registered to Jones. Authorities also found a Molotov cocktail inside the home, indicating that fire there was also intentionally set. Investigators also obtained surveillance footage from Rath's Mini Mart showing Jones filling up two red gas cans on August 3rd. Official charges against Jason Jones are pending until he is released from the hospital. Now authorities say that they are still searching for a second firearm as the one that was found in the second home and used in that crime does not match the one that was used in the first house and at the first crime scene. Now today, Nebraska State or Nebraska State Patrol has identified the four victims that were killed here in Laurel, Nebraska. The first was 53-year-old Michelle Ebeling, who was found inside the first home at 209 Elm Street. Family members describe her to me as a kind soul who also had a smile on her face and made everyone laugh. A GoFundMe has been set up by her family, which you can find that linked online at SiouxLandNews.com. The three people found inside the second home on Elm Street were from the same family. 86-year-old Gene Twyford, his wife, 85-year-old Janet Twyford, and their daughter, 55-year-old Dana Twyford. Gene is well known in Northeast Nebraska for his work on the Nebraska Medal of Honor Highway on Highway 20. Family, friends, and community members have created a memorial for Gene and his family along the highway tonight. Now, the last 24 hours have been difficult for the community here in Laurel as this quadruple homicide has just rocked their faith. First of all, I want to acknowledge the indescribable grief that this community is experiencing right now. And that's going to be compounded by the betrayal of trust that they're going to feel because a community member here uh, is alleged to have committed these crimes. The truck's too loud or if the generator he also recognized the first responders on both scenes yesterday. Not only did the fire crews from three communities work to put out two house fires, they also had to carefully preserve the crime scenes and evidence as they worked. Now I have to talk about what I consider the heroic efforts of the firefighters who were on the scene here yesterday. And I describe them as heroic because they had a, a very difficult task. We asked them to put out these fires while preserving the evidence of these crimes. They had to adjust their tactics in order to do that. 
and they did that with great efficiency. Their efforts preserved the evidence that led us directly to the suspect. The truck's too loud. Or that suspect again identified as Jason Jones. He remains in the hospital tonight up in Lincoln being treated for serious burn injuries. Now, the Nebraska State Patrol is not the only group that is recognizing first responders tonight. So is a group of local kids with a handmade sign that says we love our hometown heroes. Four kids set up a roadside stand with lemonade, cookies and iced coffee to help raise money for the local fire department. They um, help people when like, there's a fire. And they save and protect people. And we love them. What would you say if you could talk to every single person in Laurel at the same time? What would you want to tell them? Oh, that's hard. Uh, that, we that, that we love them and we want to help them. The lemonade stand is a free will donation and those kids hope to raise $300 for the Laurel Fire Department. Now this is still an ongoing investigation just barely 24 hours after that first call was called in. Uh, still a lot of police presence here in Laurel crime scene tape around uh, three homes here on Elm Street. We'll continue following this investigation as new developments come in for now reporting live in Laurel. Diana back to you. Thank you, Katie, and our thoughts are with the victims, families, and the Laurel community tonight.